must be stopped. Preach, brother. Hello and welcome to Let's Get Lost in Far Cry 4. Which I guess has become my customary way of starting these videos. Eh. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I mean, what really should I be doing here? That Desert Eagle is cool. <laughs> I'm a sad boy. I'm a sad boy. I can't buy any more cool weapons. Oh, I want you that warrior. I really want that warrior. How how does the warrior look? Can I can I have a look at it even if I haven't unlocked it? Oh, you guys. Mm. I guess that was all my money either way. Do I have anything interesting? No, mom's no. So many of the At some point, I'll check out the... It's time to turn the tables. Preach. Um, I'll remind myself to read some of the item descriptions. Uh, for, for different, like, stuff I loot. Let's hope I get an opium pipe or, like, uh, some vintage porn. The vintage porn is great. I know there's some sort of, uh, lootable item. I have yet. Oh, that's so interesting, though, that the land is red over here. I don't know if it's like that amazing, but it's just kind of. I mean, like, they just did some things here that just is like. Oh. Far Cry 3. I want to play you again. I mean, when I get the capture card, I'm probably at some point going to let's play Far Cry 3. See if I can. Uh... The fuck was that? Uh, let me just have a redo on that little jump and like do you hear that how muffled the sound is that's still making noise let's just i'm gonna wingsuit like into a mountain or something just to fucking see if that'll change things um yeah uh just uh i'm at some point i'm probably gonna uh replay Let's play Far Cry 3. Just to demonstrate the death from above stuff and shit like that. Maybe do Blood Dragon. Fuck it, like at some point I'm probably even gonna do like Far Cry Primal, aren't I? I mean, let's playing shit is at least giving me like a reason to play all of these games. So, I mean, I, I enjoy games like this, but when it's just like the... The cold silence... Of me just doing it by myself, not talking to an imaginary audience. It just becomes... And when I want to kill myself with a wingsuit, I can't. I'm finishing what I was saying. I'm sorry, I have a terrible tendency of doing that. It's really not in any way endearing or fun. When I'm just, like, not... When I'm just playing these games kind of, like, quietly and by myself, it becomes a bit of a... I don't know. I guess, like... I'm struggling not to call, like, elements of, like, mediocrity, or... There we go. That big step. And I did it again. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Just... Like, open world games, unless they're really, really interesting and I'm really excited about them, which Far Cry 4 is, I mean, even then, at some point, kind of the monotony uh, of repeating the same tasks over and over again, it, it gets to me. Like, it, I enter into some sort of, like, existential dread or something, and that, that speaks about, like, my, my state of mind. I, I just kind of feel like I'm like sat watching TV or something. Like I'm just slowly whittling away the hours until I'm dead. Like I never finished this game initially. Let's just help these guys out. And I'm not saying that's because of, like, the monotony or, like, general tone, but it's just, uh, like, other things take precedence, like, 
creating things uh, yourself. I know that doing outposts, getting dope kills, and, and doing awesome things with awesome guns, or that, but at some point, at least in Skyrim, you can fool yourself into thinking that you're kind of um, acquiring more experiences for yourself and also experience for your character ha 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 but experience for experiences for yourself kind of like checking out the stories and things like that fuck you i'm getting you garbage man Garbage man with his garbage plants of driving away from me like a coward. In Skyrim, there's stories, there's small little things. You can create your own character. And at least in your imagination, you can watch it, that narrative kind of grow. And in Far Cry 4, there's like an incredibly addictive nature to its simplistic but like effective gameplay. But at some point for me personally, it reaches that level where I just, I just feel like there's better things to do with my life. But then again, I don't work a day job. I like, I mean, if I was doing something like if I was a, a surgeon, <laughs> what the fuck ever, <laughs> like, if I'm really going to like play pretend. Let's really go there. If I was a university professor, um, and I came home from that to, to, this would be like the perfect little like drug for my brain to just go like, ah, oh, man, I, I just, I don't kind of have to think all the time. But as someone who's kind of like confined uh, to the, the kind of activities that I myself uh, choose to do, Oh man, that was not a sentence that came out how I wanted it to. I, uh... I just feel like I'm kind of draining any time I have to do things that are important to me. And injecting it into something that inevitably isn't really going to amount to much of anything and I know these let's plays aren't really gonna amount to much of anything I think my ideal kind of like scenario is that some person who kind of similar to me in certain situations of my life uh, find themselves with maybe far too much time on their hands and maybe also let's be real far too many drugs uh, or alcohol or whatever it's gonna knock off and like just watch these like just watch this weird individual playing through a game as if there was a human being in the room with them I know that's like pretentious and and I know that's like something that I probably shouldn't really be saying here it's not really that entertaining, and to the person that I'm talking about, it would probably be complete nonsense, but... Yeah, I don't know, it just seems like it makes things matter a bit more. And on a, maybe a more, uh, real level, it makes me more attentive to what's going on in the game. Whereas if, when I was playing this shit by myself, it was literally just, like, running around and, and killing guys, the game. I didn't really catch too much that was going on. And that speaks volumes to what type of, type of person I am. I know there's people who immediately sat down and... Oh my god. The pit of my stomach, just existential dread. That's probably what it feels like in real life. Just those last moments as, as your brain is, is just pumping just those last little bits of, of blood before consciousness fades and you just... But yeah, back on track, it, it makes... Uh, this is what they always do, but 
we have some warning with this one. They must be stopped. Uh, yeah, what I was saying. Fucking the, the thing where it just goes all muffled is happening again. Sorry, I'm just going to deal with that by jumping into a pool of water and then I'll get to that outpost. Um... Someone definitely sat down and approached these games like Skyrim, where they read every single thing about every single and, and saw the loading screen where it was like, oh, an officer got lost. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to understand things and it's going to further uh, nuance the gameplay where I'm going to feel like I'm interacting with a world that matters. And at least there's going to be things there for me to unravel until I reach the point that inevitably you also reach in Skyrim. Where you're just so fucking sick of listening to guys going, I took a, an arrow to the knee. And you're just like, yeah, you and every single other motherfucking town guard in this land. It's just, it's so stilted and artificial. And, and it's just like talking to a chatbot you made yourself. Just being like, hey, local sports team is great. And also our favorite movie is the favorite movie. Like you're never really gonna be surprised by anything it can dish out ever again. But as someone who plays a lot of video games, uh, it's been a while since I kind of felt that. I guess that's why I keep going on and on about Dark Souls so much because that game told a million stories to me uh, just by you kind of interacting with the game. And it didn't really have to do it through reading notes or like even if reading the item descriptions provides like a hell of a fucking lot of context. It's also purposefully vague enough that it lets you construct your own narrative. It lets you interpret things yourself. And that's kind of the whole purpose of... Of kind of like that's how it it bridges the gap between the player and the game in order to make a meaningful connection i am struggling uh in some senses to to like i, I keep bringing up dark souls a lot but it's it's a contested uh point and, and i don't know whether or not this is really going to resonate with anyone else um but the game Deadly Premonition has the main character referring to another unseen entity, which you don't really ever, um, ever was the wrong word to pick you. You don't initially understand, um, like the full picture until you reach the very, very end. But the main character keeps talking to what initially seems like an imaginary friend and it in many ways, it kind of is. N not really spoilers. I mean, like, if you play through that game. But the main protagonist refers to someone by the name of Sack, who you never... God, I just keep picking the these really, like, totalitarian words when it's not what I really mean to say. Uh, Sack isn't immediately, like... Crescent, you don't really know what he is, and in many ways, he serves the purpose of bridging the gap between the main protagonist and the player. That he's like talking to you as a human being, sat there playing the game, and it is uh, something that you probably you're starting to see more and more in video game narratives. But personally, I can only really think of like a handful of games. Hotline Miami does it to some degree as well. Uh, where the game seeks to create this unseen kind of like... Um, connection between the player and what is going on on the screen. Deadly Premonition is an extremely linear game in, in most ways. But every time the main protagonist talks to Sack, you feel like the guy is almost turning to the camera and kind of winking at you and acknowledging your presence. I mean, like, that might just be me. I'm not saying that it's, like, an insanely profound or, like, that it's the most intelligent or unheard of, like, kind of, like, storytelling device but 
it just kind of did something to me playing that game and hotline miami really expects you to notice a lot of like insanely just kind of carved out little details that as you're playing it it's almost expecting you to miss them and then later go back to kind of be like what the fuck just happened and and then you look for the devil in the details um which I guess is probably why I started off playing let's playing a game like Far Cry 4 because it doesn't really have anything like that it's a pretty straight up affair and it's it's very gameplay centric not that I'm saying any of the other games on Hotline Miami and Dark Souls 2 are insanely gameplay centric but it conveys a story through its gameplay where almost Far Cry wants you to forget about the gameplay the moment you enter story segments like no one is ever well that's actually wrong i was gonna say no one is ever gonna acknowledge the fact that you're just murdering so many people but paul de Plur, uh does uh accurately uh, observe that our character is insanely good at just mass murder like uncommonly so Willis as well does make a, but what was I gonna say? A veiled reference. I'd be just so horny to say veiled reference, uh, because it's not really that at all. I'm, I'm that's a miss, uh, stuttering buffoon I am. Willis goes. Uh, you can get back to enacting stand your ground laws on foreign soil. There's these small little things that kind of break. Uh, does it break fourth wall? Not really. I mean, for a person who... I guess conceivably you can just go through the game not doing any outposts. Not really, like, being the guy that I've been playing who just jumps onto people to then, like, gouge their arteries out of there. Bruh. Yes. 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 It's beautiful. You demand. Oh man, yes. Punch that wolf, AJ. These fucking things, though. That is stupid. That's fucking like straight up the dumbest shit I've ever seen. I would, I would like to think that that would be my reaction if it wasn't me trying to infiltrate an outpost and enjoy a man's machete dance. I mean, in a, in a, if this was like Cormac McCarthy's The Road, the game, I would be like, oh man, scrawny dogs are just constantly chasing me because there ain't no food, but, but human beings are like, what, what I, like, but that shit is fucking dumb. And then AJ just punched the fuck out of that wall. Well, I guess not. Hmm. Right. Hold tight. We are inbound. Fuck being undetected. But like, let's still, still try not to die though. That's just for the wolves. That's just for the wolves. That makes sense. Enough palaver. Let's really get the show on the road. This has been garbage talk. 
For fuck's sakes. I didn't even put a timer on this bitch, did I? Stupid. Who fucking would wanna... What? Yeah, conceivably on the off chance that someone actually watches this, I shouldn't make fun of them for enjoying my stupid company. Thank you for watching this if you are. This is like... It's fun to me, I'm just like self-conscious and being like, oh, that was... A lot of like self indulgent garbage. I'm going down there. Copy. Min is counting on us. We have to go down. Let's chalk it up to me being really tired and, and still wanting to play the game. Yo. Oh wait, he just turned his back on me. <laughs> they will never see me in the bushes. They will... That guy, I, I won't see him either. I don't think that really hit where I wanted it to. If I angle it differently. No, it's not. And then I wait. Wait for them to come to me. Full sweep of the area. This is not Metal Gear Solid 5. They're not actually gonna, like, thoroughly. I mean, you can circumvent the patrols in Metal Gear Solid 5. It's just a bit more like of an oh shit moment when they start, like, shining. When they shoot flares uh, up into, the, like, the air for the first time. And you're just like, oh, man, they're going to spot me. They're clearly going to spot me. Yeah, let's have the meat. Uh, yeah. That guy. Eagle Eye Daniels over here. That was, that was me doing a, a ramble too, Mama, if you can tell. I was trying to, it's a bit delayed. Talking about Metal Gear Solid 5. You ever let Snake walk around uh, with his like leg broken and you start shooting shit and like a, a big like LMG or whatever and he's just screaming like that, just being like Aah! It's pretty fun. That game is just so many, like, tiny little nuances that you would just never catch on your own. Like, grappling with an enemy and then grabbing the gun out of their hand to then... Um, just point it straight at them and hold them up. It's just insane. And then you get them to get on their face, like, face down on the ground, give you information and whatever. You turn your back and, like start walking around doing other stuff and you just see that motherfucker just start reaching for his gun again it's just beautiful it's a really really just extremely well like made game in many ways I guess that's another game that has like uh, I don't know at least it expects a lot of the player in one sense fuck 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 this should not be this difficult Sayonara, fuck face. Look out below! Mm -hmm. Ugh. Stay 
This extended mag really does come in handy when shooting from the hip, don't it? Eh. <laughs> Where's the guy shooting the mortar? Bruh. 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 See, that guy spotted me. We are coming in from the west. And something happened there. Well, at least I got the joy of seeing that. But fuck it, I'm gonna just do it this time. Because... Just complete... Just focus. And, and silence. And, and just... The best. It's not what that means, by the way. Now I know that's the song I use at the end, but it's not what that means. It's a joke. That's why I, I, I did that. I even had a whole fucking, like, song queued up. Or, like, I, it was just the, the song, You're the Best, but it was just, like, all wobbly and shit. Like, it was being played on, like, a, a fucking, like, really, really sun-damaged, like, record or something. Just, like, history repeats this. You're the best. And that's kind of where I get, I... Ugh. More self-indulgent garbage. <laughs> Bear with me like you're Winnie the Pooh. Just the jokes. Uh, I'm gonna... Run out of bullets. What? All clear. <laughs> We're not alone. My team. Target the AO. Take out the vehicle. <laughs> Affirmative. See if I can get this fucking piece of shit to actually work in my favor. Talking about the gun here. You are a crock shot without LMG. I, I just can't really do it. I guess you burst, and that's like really doing favors for you. Inbound on your position. Oh. What the fuck happened there? Did he shoot mortars into his own base? This is some fucking garbage. Uh. Are you guys ready for the most fun gameplay? Da most. Fuck me. Some good shooting. I guess now you can see why I'm not doing so hot. Where's that fuckhead using the mortar? Hmm. Yeah, you're coming... Straight for me, aren't you? Yeah, you just stopped. Stupid. Motherfucker.
Boy, that does lose its luster. A little bit. Nah, it's just because I'm sleepy. And I'm just like, oh, I gotta stop shooting rockets at me. I've died a million times already. Keep your heads on the swivel. <laughs> oh, man. That's interesting. It's kind of a bit hard to disengage from that. something fun with those guys we all know I'm never gonna get to that point of really doing anything fun with anyone It's 
very loud. Inbound from the south. I did that as well. We are coming in from the west. Anything with this right now. Keep on the pressure. Got you, Gale. You are about to be Fuck me. I'm going to cut you from the inside out. These animations, huh? Eh, maybe he forgot about me. They have a tendency to sometimes just strike quickly. Does that even work at this point? I am going to end you. Fire I'll just buy me a little bit of time. We are inbound from the south. Show them what happens to me, Ed. Finally, I think that's like the first person I killed with a grenade. You think you're a warrior? You're nothing. Oof, don't I know a guy.
Uh, I think that's the end of this episode. <laughs> Fucking. Oof. Yup. <laughs>